Brothers, welcome back to Territorial.io. We're starting off today here in a 72-person free-for-all battle here in Caucasia. Most of the against humans is not allowed. I'm not liking this spot. Oh, we need a new spot. This is going to get way too crowded. I don't like what we're here. Okay, that's fine. Ah, it's not much better. All right, whatever. We're going to deal with it. <laughs> kind of hope for the best and, uh, you know, plan for what's reality at this point. But we'll just continue to grow out and see what we can do. It didn't end up being that bad of a spot. I, it's definitely better than the spot we had. At least there's more opportunities to be able to push out from here. So we'll just try that. See where we can go from here. And uh, hey, I just want to say especially uh, a huge thank you to everyone yesterday. I, it was a big announcement and uh, I got a lot of support from you guys. I'm still trying to get through the comments. But wow, thank you guys so much. I'm so excited. You guys are excited. And uh, thank you to all the new members and so forth. You guys will be uh started to be included on the video starting on monday so once again thank you for that and now we'll just kind of focus in on the game as i'm in my infinite growth phase here and uh yeah we're doing okay we missed a few opportunities there and we are getting attacked by france which was something i was a little bit worried about attacking so aggressively you, you know you, if you get next to a newer player they just think you're low on troops and then they just get like headstrong stuck on attacking which does seem to be the case here so France is finally out of the way though so we have that going for us which is nice but we are very much weakened off of that so we don't have as much of an advantage as we did before and we just still have to push through a number of these giant pots which is very frustrating um yeah if we can go over into the east a little bit more that'll be really good for us we're doing okay actually we're, we're we recovered very well we're in second place and we have a great opportunity look at this guy he's only got about 10,000 troops left oh this is my land and the guy below him too and that guy wow okay so this is working out really good let's just go ahead and knock, knock off both these guys at the same time we definitely have the troops to get this done no one is that strong around us the only one that could potentially challenge us at this point is remove kebab but his borders on us are so small it'd be honestly very surprising for him to uh, want to attack me and yeah we have the crown by a good margin here we have forty-eight thousand pixels compared to our second place at 35 so and we're just continuing to get more and more land yeah this is looking very nicely for us and uh the empire above us is rather weak as well let's go ahead and finish him off oh skull empire is coming down okay this might be where we get challenges aze and skull empire and uh phoenicia those guys might attack me but they're going up north they got a weaker target wonderful so now we just save up build up our troops we'll act like uh just innocent little boys that we are you know we're all just hanging out we lost the crown oh by blue up north okay so that's good skull empire must be in must be feeling real terrible about his position especially aze they're both looking for like hey how do we get out of this position we're stuck between number one and two uh i think we're going to take down this guy reason i want to take down player 858 is because he's more likely to get taken out faster than my neighbor to the northeast so yeah we'll take out this guy really quickly get rid of that wonderful he's out of the way and now we can focus on the neighbor on the northeast which i think will be a good play but again we don't have to push it at this point we have the crown we have 2.85 okay now he's a bot though which kind of changes thing because the bot is just going to start attacking and look everyone was going up north aha they're all attacking by blue that's funny they all got on their mind that we well, gotta take down this guy and that's what happens when you're the crown and you just have like a little bit less troops is people just feel like we can get them whereas i feel like i always have held this high regard of like i'm too strong to be attacked even though i'm being attacked right now by phoenicia and remove kebab which I will swiftly deal with as soon as we get rid of this bot over here, which is not going to take much time. And we do increase our advantage ever so slightly more. And yeah, we're doing pretty well. I'll definitely check a truce with you. That really kind of secures my path forward of not having to fight Skull Emoji. That would have been very bad. Now, uh, Kebab is out of the game. He's left and become a bot, which means uh, Phoenicia over here is the last remaining bastion of my attackers uh, left. So we'll just take out him out rather quickly. And then move on to the bot of kebab because everyone wants to attack a bot i don't need this guy communicating to others like hey let's attack this corgi circus guy no 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 no. let's get this guy off the board real quick and there we go wonderful okay so now we can go into kebab and start to take him down and he's got about two million troops left which is a, a pretty decent chunk but we can get through that rather quickly now becomes what do we want to do next we could take out skull emoji and or aze but honestly, I like having them as borders for the northern neighbors. I I feel like I have a better... Oh, hello. You're there. Okay. I feel like I have a better chance going into the west and ignoring the north for right now. So let's just do that. Especially as Ottoman Empire only has 2 million troops. To our 13 million. 
yeah we'll quickly be able to roll through the ottoman empire he's counter attacking us but yeah we'll just be able to stomp him real quick and then probably do the same to android user before android user is able to get too big himself so we will yeah i was about to say maybe we go up north but i don't want to touch by blue or that uh that turkish player up there either with 9.6 million no we'll just move over here and take these guys out the guys in the west have about the same amount of land but less troops and i do want hello it's a fake corgi okay he's asking for a truce i'm not gonna give him a truce don't steal my name <laughs> i'm just kidding flat intimidation is the highest form of flattery right there you go well we he's kind of in the way at this point so we're gonna take him out and then start to move over into the neighbors into the west our alliance with skull emoji in aze is holding which is wonderful for us so that we don't have to fight them or worry about them because that could really put us in a bad situation so we'll start to knock down the the fake corgi and then probably fight annie or support ukraine i haven't really decided which one i want to go into we do have borders on both which is slightly unfortunate annie is attacking me okay we'll just knock him back be like no 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 support ukraine is also attacking me we will just attack him and uh, start to slowly get our land back here. And now we'll just really, excuse me, I said boat. There we go. Okay, yeah, now we'll just push into this guy. He's a little bit weaker than Annie, and we can quickly dispatch him. I'm not worried about any kind of gang ups at this point. I do see that the uh, players are in the northeast are both bots, but I don't have borders on them, so I'm just going to ignore them for right now. Let them be a nice little distraction as I move my way up here. And honestly, before I get to the Turkish player, maybe I stop my attack and then finish off Annie. I think that's the play. I think that's the play. That way we don't have to worry about being triple teamed on because if we get three people attacking us, we might get everybody. And that just becomes a cascading number of issues that I just don't want to deal with. So yeah, let's take out Annie. We're the only one that can get their land other than support Ukraine if they want to turn on them. And support Ukraine has left and become a bot. So here we go. We are in a very good commanding position here. I do see by blue is trying to work his way down to me, which is a little bit concerning. But at this point, we have a good chunk of land. We almost have 50%. And there we go. We're about to get a lot more of it right here. And how much do we have? About 50%. So we're in the driver's seat by far. It's going to be a really hard effort for others to attack me. And we'll just be able to take out the rest of these guys. Excuse me. That's my land. Earn that figures and squares. All right, here we go. Let's take out this guy next and then potentially buy blue. Skull emoji has been my friend from like the very beginning. So I'm definitely piecing out with him. He throws out a heart. Absolutely, brother. We're besties. We're besties at this point. You were very much a key to my victory of having that alliance. I don't know if I could have won without that alliance having to deal with kind of the center. Because if the guys in the West had the opportunity to build up, they would have been very strong and they were working together. So, yeah, we'll take out this guy because he's attacking uh, Skull Emoji. There we go. And that should finish off by blue. So, GG's to all involved on this one as we'll give out the claps of good sportsmanship, followed by a peace symbol, and then one ye kissy face for the boys. And we'll look for the peace and go on to the next game. All right, next game up is going to be USA Teams Battle. And this is a three team, uh, three people. You know what? I'm going to play this. I was about to say, I this is literally the next game I played after a 74 person contest. I don't understand how only three people are in this game, but I'm kind of here for it. It's kind of like a, a, a ranked battle at this point, except for there's an additional person. I want to see if I can win this. I it, this, How many times does this opportunity come up? Like never. Let's just see. And I am in lobby one for those like curious. I did not switch my lobbies by any means. So we'll just play this in our regular pattern and just kind of see what we can do here. Maybe we win, maybe we lose, but uh, hey, it's different. It's interesting. So I'm kind of here for it. So now we begin our infinite growth phase and we're going to be big. This is going to be a long infinite growth phase here, AKA just a very short one because we didn't get up north, which is very frustrating, but that's okay. We'll be able to make up for it uh, at some point, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> we really got trapped in here very early on. <laughs> But now we can start playing the positional battle. We know that there's a player to our south and we know there's a player to our east. So what is our goal? We cut off the south player from being able to go north. We cut off the east player from being able to go west and we encapsulate as many bots behind us as possible. And from there, we obviously just win the game. That's how that works. Okay, Danny Blue is pretty weak on troops, which is good for me. Let's me know that I can definitely aggressively push over there. I am very concerned about getting to the west though. I don't want anybody else to be able to come up north 
I don't know what that red player is doing, but he's a little bit probably scary, right? Yeah, he's he's decently sized. So yeah, we'll just try and encapsulate as many bots as possible. Now we have run into an unfortunate roadblock here in the west where our bots are the same colors are cutting us off. So we have to go up north a little bit or south. But now I'm a little bit more concerned with Danny Blue and cutting him off and making sure that I get a little bit of access to the eastern United States, cutting him off from being able to go any farther in the west. And he is full sending me, which is a little bit unfortunate here, but I just feel like I kind of have to ignore it just to get the positional battle here that I'm trying to do. And my bots are actually taking Danny out, which is quite hilarious. Okay, so now that we've gotten that taken care of, we've got the west. Now we can start to fight back Danny a little bit. And yeah, he's full sending on one of my bots and that's gonna be the end of Danny boy. So now we can just continue to go into the east as much as we possibly can. Uh, ADN is very strong. He has the crown and more troops than us. We've already had to fight a battle. Actually, we have a slight advantage on troops, but we're gonna have to catch play a lot of catch up in the land. So our focus here is cutting him off as much as possible, taking out the weak bots wherever we can, and then grabbing as much land as we can. So I think we're gonna have the huge advantage here. He's gonna have a hard time pushing through us, and we definitely have encapsulate most of the United States behind us where he cannot get to it. So things are looking very good for us. Now, the issue will become that he will just be saving up troops. But as long as we can just grab all this land behind us without him getting any of it, he can attack me as much as he wants. Uh, I'm, it's eventually going to stabilize in my favor. So yeah, we'll just continue attacking here. I do see that he's already up to a million. I'm at 600,000. So there is a, a big troop disparage, 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 Just I can't say the word. My brain just broke. It, I'm sorry, it's not happening. <laughs> I don't know why I can't say that, but it's just not happening. All right, anyways, um, we'll just continue on here. Yeah, we are pretty low on troops, but we have so much more land than he does. He's attacking us right now, but we have almost 8,000 more pixels than he does, so we can save up. We're only about 7,000 troops behind him, and we only have three bots to go. So yeah, this is going to be a rough one for him to be able to recover from. He can just keep attacking me, but we're already almost caught up to him in troops. We're very close. In fact, we're now more troops than he did no almost almost okay v getting very close we'll eventually be able to outpace him so he'll just keep attacking us yep that's fine go into my defensive modifier waste your troops allow me to just continue to get bigger and bigger and bigger and this is working out very much to our favor as he continues to throw away troops trying to attack me which is the right move i'm not trying to imply that it's not you know he's not giving up but i just built up such a cushion in terms of pixel count that it's i can absorb these attacks and save up and now you can see that the tables have turned where I have more troops and more land to his, you know, less troops and less land. So now we can begin the counterattack at any point that we want. We're getting somewhat close to our um, red interest mark. So better late than never. Let's just go ahead and start attacking him right now as he's going to counterattack us. So GG's to you. So you played very well. I just got a little bit luckier than you and was a little bit more aggressive in the beginning of the game. And uh, even though I had to face both players, so it kind of was a 1v2 there. And uh, ADN did not. It was, a, it was very well played by Aiden. I think I just had a little bit better positioning and that's kind of what separated us here. So we will take out Aiden here and uh, give you the claps of good sportsmanship. Say GG's to all involved. And as we do start to wrap things up, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching, especially if you made this one of the episode. If you have made this one of the episode, hey, give it a thumbs up for the episode a lot. If you're new around here, subscribe for more. I put videos every day, but boys, I will see you in the next one.